Okay, let's meditate and spread thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for true happiness, your happiness and the happiness of others. It comes from the intention not to cause any harm, because you realize if you harm others, the harm is going to come back to you. In other words, this is a practice that's based on our understanding of karma. You can't find happiness in the world if you cause misery to other people. You can find temporary happiness, short-term happiness, but long-term happiness, that'll be impossible. Both because of the karma and because people won't stand for your happiness. If your happiness is based on something that makes them suffer, they're going to do what they can to destroy it. So you realize that true happiness is something that has to take other people into consideration. So you make up your mind that whatever you do and say and think is going to be based on goodwill. Now you also realize that other people's happiness is something that they will have to be responsible for, too. Well, that's part of the principle of karma as well. You're not saying, may you be happy just as you are. If those other people are doing something unskillful, your wish is, may they realize the mistake they're making, have a change of heart, and be willing and able to act on the causes for true happiness. Now, this is a thought you can have for anyone, no matter what their background, no matter what they've been doing in the past. And it makes you a safe person, both safe from your own karma, and you're safe to other people. This is a basic principle in all the Buddha's teachings. Everything he taught is very safe. Generosity is safe. Virtue is safe. Meditation, if you do it properly, is safe. Because a lot of the ways we look for happiness in the world are very unsafe. Because they cause trouble to us, cause trouble to others. We hear the Buddha saying, you have the potential inside for happiness that's totally blameless, totally harmless. And that's the happiness that lasts. So we listen to his teachings because he teaches us to have respect for that desire for true happiness. In other words, we respect him because he teaches us to have something that we should respect. The world tells us that true happiness is impossible, or a little bit of happiness is possible if you buy their things, or have a relationship, or gain power. But then those things turn on you. As for true happiness that's beyond the reach of changes in space and time. The world says that's impossible. The Buddha, though, said it is possible. He found it. He discovered the way, and he can teach it to others. So that's an opportunity that's open to us. But we want to find our happiness in a way that's responsible, that takes the well-being of other people into consideration. That's the only way we'll find a happiness that lasts.